Now we have often heard that friction is a necessary evil. Friction is a necessary evil that means it is uh, required. Uh, so why it is necessary? So that means what are the advantages of the friction? You can act, uh, be, you can be asked in this way also that why it is necessary evil or why it is necessary or what are the advantages? So you are going to say, see, without friction we cannot write on paper. There is a friction between pen and a paper that enable us to write. Second, we can hold things. Suppose I am holding a marker. So if there would have not been any frictional force, then I, it won't be possible for me to hold this marker because uh, then uh, like instead of holding, it will slip from my hand. So this is a friction between my hand and the marker that I can hold marker. Third, things remain at their places. Like uh, you have kept TV on the table, you have kept bed on the floor or you have kept anything like table or a chair or anything on the floor. They, uh, they remain uh, in their position just due to the friction between their surface and the ground. Otherwise, if the friction won't be there, so they would also slip out. So that means we are enabled to keep things uh, at places or things remain at their places where we keep is just due to the friction between them. The next, we can walk on ground also is just we can walk ju uh, just again due to the friction only. Like you know that uh, there is a friction between our uh, sole of the shoe and the ground that enable us to walk. Suppose uh, you know that uh, suppose uh, there is a banana uh, you can say uh, there is like somebody eats banana just throw off the uh, the cover and when you step on that uh, banana uh, uh, banana sheet then you would slip out because uh, the inner surface of the banana is a slimy surface slimy surface means very very less friction so that is why you just slip when you step on the uh, banana uh, this thing leaves which are uh, this thing thrown on the ground because of the reduced friction so that means when you walk on the ground the friction is again necessary and you must have seen that uh, the, like uh, the, if we talk about the runners who just carry out the which, which who participate in the races and all they have a certain kind of uh, spikes uh, over the uh, sole of the their shoes you know that that spike is just to uh, increase the friction so that they can run uh, in a better way and they don't slip it actually reduced the chance of slipping in that case. So uh, that means we can walk on ground again due to friction. Next, brakes can be applied as you are moving a vehicle. Obviously, brakes are very important because you need to stop somewhere. You need to take a turn from somewhere. So if the brakes are applied. <coughs> these brakes actually create a friction between the tires and the ground. So that, that means it is a necessary eat. Now, there are so many disadvantages as well, like <coughs> most of the energy is wasted. Some of the energy is wasted in overcoming the friction. Rubber parts may get dam damaged. Efficiency of machine get reduced. That is why the machine often get choke up. So, these are all disadvantages. Now, we can actually reduce the friction also because uh, whenever it is required, we can actually reduce the friction. Now, how we can reduce the friction? 